just a last minute decision to come over, I saw your tweet. Uh, how, how short notice was your decision to come over? Um, no, it was a couple of days before, before I wanted to come over. Um, we've got four of the top ten uh, fighting and um, I definitely want one of them in my next fight. Spoken about, I think uh, Glover and maybe Shogun W before. Um, how, what makes you think that this time is going to be any different if they do get, you know, wins or losses? Um, I don't know. Our, our division's kind of light, so um, you know, I think I think definitely one of the winners from tonight. Um, I should be matched up against in my next fight. Do you have any preference? I want Glover. Really, he's he's, he's the highest ranked out of um, all the, all the four fighting tonight. So um, I definitely want him. Speak, speaking of your division, your training partner Alexander Gustafsson, without opponent now, and in a really tough situation, you know, yeah. as a partner in a while, uh, as you know, friend and training partner, what do you think? You know, what would you do if you were in his position? Um, I think I'd I'd call out Cormier. I think Cormier came the closest to losing uh, through Alex, mm -hmm. and that, and I think I, if I was Alex, I'd call out Cormier. That would hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. What about you, man? You've had some time off since March. What, what, what have you, you been up to, I guess? Mate, I've been training. I've been licking my wounds since my last fight and everything. I was, I was, I was down for, for a couple of weeks after my last fight. But, um, you know, now I'm back in training and everything. I've got my confidence back and everything. And um, I'm looking forward to, to putting someone to sleep in my next one. When, man? When? Um, they offered me September in, in, in Brazil. If I have to go to Brazil to get my next win, then, then so be it. 100%. Coming off of, a, off of a tough loss like that, you know, what do you what do you need to do to motivate yourself or to get back? I don't need up? any motiva motivation. I'm self motivated. I'm, I'm motivated by the fear of losing. I've always said that and everything. So I don't need any mo motivation to get to training yeah. and that. So um, I, w I still want anyone in the top ten and that. And um, I look forward to my next fight. Can you say you've learned anything from that last loss? I mean, you kind of looked. At 100% all my losses I learn from you know um, even my wins I learn from as well I study my fights I'm my own biggest, uh, biggest critic so um, you know I've, I've learned a lot a lot from my last loss and uh, you know I'm looking looking forward to, to my next fight down the road can you see maybe a trilogy with Blakovich? 100% it's got to happen in it so well we're, we're one on one so um, whether it's the next fight or or two fights down the line, we're, we're, we're sure to meet again. What do you make of Anthony Smith as well? He's come a bit out of nowhere, I guess. Um, I haven't seen a lot of him. I've seen his last couple of fights, and I heard he was moving up to light heavyweight. So that's uh, that's the reason why I kept uh, an, an eye on him. So um, he's all right. He's all right. We'll see how he gets on with Shogun tonight. What do you uh, think of that DC Brock Lesnar stuff that happened, happened a few weeks ago? I'll do the same if I was DC, you know, it's, just, it's the money fight for him as well. He wants a lot of money before he, before he retires, so I don't blame him for it. He's a great fighter. Congrats to him on, the, on his uh, win against Stipe as well. And, um, you know, I, ca I can't call him out at the moment. I think after my next win, then, then, then I can call him out. What is your prediction for I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Brock's a big guy, and that, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know that one. That one. John Jones's agent, Malky Kawa, has been saying that he thinks John's going to be back pretty soon, and that he won't really get that much of a sentence from Rosado. What, what do you make of that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is what it is. I don't. I don't mind as long as. When I, if I fight John Jones, as long as he's not he's not on PEDs, then 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 so be it. Whatever. And that, he's a great fighter. He's a great fighter. I'm a fan of John Jones is, as well, and that not of his like PED stuff in it and, and that, but he, I'm a great fan of his. DC's got two belts at the moment. Do you think he should have to vacate one? Like they make I think one definitely 100% he should vacate or or defend his belt, uh, light heavyweight belt next, and. Uh, I think he should, if he should vacate the light heavyweight and go to heavyweight and, and fight Brock, Brock Lesnar and whoever else, whoever else wants to come to uh, heavyweight. He's expressed uh, an interest in fighting the Shogun. Do you think that happens? I don't see no sense in that. The Shogun's rank, rank like behind me, number six or seven or, or eight or something. And um, why does he want to fight Shogun? He should fight. If, if he's going to fight someone in, in light heavyweight division, it's got to be Alex, Alex Christopherson. 
well, with Alex and Ilir Latifi as well in your division, does that present problems for you, like down the road? I mean, you all have the same thing. It's pro I think it's problems for you a lot. It's not, it's no, no problem for us. Oh. So we're, we're not going to fight each other. And um, well, what do you do? Say go stop someone's belt. I'll get to number one contender, then I'll move down to middleweight or move up to heavyweight and, and challenge for a title there. Good, good options. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned heavyweight, so is, is that something you're definitely looking at? Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, <laughs> Were you impressed by today's uh, performance of uh, Alexander uh, Rakic uh, because he's your, like, in your division and he asked for top 15, so did you watch it? Yeah, I watched they did a, a really good performance. Um, I've trained with him before in, in, in All Stars, and uh, he's a great fighter, and I wish him all the best in the future. Okay. Who do you think is the greatest of all time right now in MMA? After that win, uh, DC over Komi, uh, over Miocic. Um, I'm a big fan of. Do you know what? Before DC came to light heavyweight, I was a big fan of his, but. When he came to light like, heavyweight, he's, he's like a uh, competition for me. So um, I think I think either John Jones or Anderson Silva, or or um, what's his name, Mighty Mouse over there. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they both uh, well used PD, it's got to be Mighty Mouse then. No, I, I, I think I think John Jones. I think John Jones or Anderson Silva. I'm a big fan of them. Yeah. Awesome, that is. Respect. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.